Good morning, everyone. Welcome back into North Dakota Today. Well, Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota and United Way have partnered together for the seventh year in a row to host the Eat United Food Truck Lunch. Christy Huber from Blue Cross Blue Shield and Tiffany McShane are here to share more about this exciting event. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. So exciting to be here. Well, we just had food and we're talking <laughs> about food. This isn't good for me. I'm going to be hungry this no, morning. No, yes, that's a good thing. That's a good yes, thing. Yes, very true. Okay, so tell us about the event. We're so excited. This is our seventh year year that we are going to be partnering okay. with the United Way on uh, Eat United and we love this because it's just such a great way for the community yes. to come together around really important uh, nonprofit mm -hmm. work that's happening and it's delicious. Right? You know, we really buried the lead. I mean, food <laughs> trucks. Okay, what food trucks are coming? You know, we have a lot of food trucks. We have Detroit Deli, we've mm -hmm. got uh, Mac Daddy's, Hot Off the Press, Ooh. Smoke My Butt Barbecue, okay. which is <laughs> one of my personal favorites. I've never heard of that. You it haven't? Good, oh, it's good. Yes. It's good. <laughs> Tip, what's your favorite that's coming? No, I'm excited to try that Windsor Waffles. Ooh. So maybe okay. some dessert after we go. Yes. Yummy. Lunch. Okay, so even if you want to make multiple stops, then you can. Oh, yes. Okay. Exactly. There are no rules at yes. the United Food Truck. Event. Right? And it, yes. is, it is so fun to see all of the different businesses that come out. Um, you know, we're very centrally located. Yeah. We're right at the Healthy Dakota campus, okay. which is that the uh, formerly Blue Cross Blue Shield building, the silver building right in the middle yeah, of, of Fargo on 13th. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just really easy for people to walk over. We will be able to, um, they'll be able to have food from 11.30 until 2 on Wednesday, the oh, 26th. Okay. And we are just so excited that everybody will come out and, and really enjoy the day because it truly is uh, really a fun day. Yeah, it certainly sounds like it. I mean, you can grab your coworkers, grab your family, and head out, huh? Yes, absolutely. We have live music. Mm -hmm. And uh, Keith Axman, who is actually one of our Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota colleagues, oh, wow. he and his band will be there and just really so much fun. The environment is mm -hmm. just, uh, I would say, really ecstatic. And again, it's all about giving back to the community. You know, at Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota, we are really invested in seeing communities across the state yep. be as healthy as possible and have the resources that they need in order to grow and, and to really invest in their well-being and so again how important it is for us to partner with great nonprofits mm -hmm. like the United Way of Cass Clay that are really we, we have a shared mission um, to really invest in the community and help our community be healthy. Yeah certainly. Okay so this is the seventh year. What is really your favorite part about continuing this partnership? You know, I would say that the United Way, our mission and our ability to move ourselves forward relies on great partnerships like yeah. the Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota and they step up in so many ways beyond this event. Mm -hmm. They have a culture of giving back. They have a blue squad that is out and about in the community. We see them all of the time. And we wouldn't be able to move our mission forward mm -hmm. without organizations like Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota. So we're really grateful for this partnership and for all of you in the community who yeah. are going to show up on June 26th to grab lunch. I mean, it takes a village, right? For a cause, huh? It does, yeah. it does. And again, this has been a, a seven years of wonderful growth yes. of the event. Every year we see more people coming out and this year we know it's going to be our best one yet just because we have so many great food trucks that mm -hmm. are also stepping up and really we, we have to say thank you to the food trucks as yeah. well because proceeds from uh, part of the, the proceeds of that day go back to United Way and the investments that we're making right here in this community to help our friends, our neighbors be as healthy as they mm -hmm. can be. And you're making it so easy for people to come out and support. You know, maybe you don't have time to volunteer, but everyone has time for good lunch, right? <laughs> I think so. I think that is one of the easiest ways for us to really, as a community, come together. Yeah. And so, um, yes, we want to make it really easy. We want to make yes. it really fun. And we know that uh, anybody who comes out on the 26th, Wednesday the 26th, from 1130 until 2, you will love it. You will absolutely have a fabulous time. Well, it certainly sounds like it. Well, you guys have my stomach grumbling. I'm <laughs> curious, though, where can folks go for more information? Yeah, you can find information on the Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota website, or we have some info right at the United Way of org website. Mm -hmm. You can't miss it. It's right there when you log on. Absolutely, and also on our Facebook page. Okay, On our wonderful. Blue Cross Blue Shield of North yes. Dakota Facebook page. Be sure to Google that up. Well, thank you both so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you guys, really appreciate it. Yes, of course. All right, everyone stick around because coming up on today's show, a local artist is adapting a novel into a play. Stick around.